What's going on everyone, it's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a brand new Let's Play of the game, Fast Racing Neo, for the Nintendo Wii U eShop exclusive. Now, this game is, I want to say, a spiritual successor to the F-Zero series. Uh, you guys have seen my live stream preview of it, so right now we're going to go through and play a couple cups. It's going to be very good, so if you guys are excited for the game, definitely smash that like button and click on the description uh, to check out the entire playlist. Uh, now, uh, we played through the live stream, it was very cool, we got the hang of it, but for those of you guys who missed that, uh, let's just jump on into it. Now, this is uh, a very, very F-Zero-like futuristic racing game. Uh, it's priced at about $14.99 on the Nintendo eShop, which is a great deal for a game like this. Um, as you guys can see, there are a couple different modes. You can do online play, you can do multiplayer, local. There's actually a hero mode once you beat the one-player campaign. There's a time attack mode, and of course, the one-player championship campaign. On this episode, we are going to go through and beat the first cup, and hopefully beat all the successing cups. It's going to be great, so... Let's do this. I'm pretty excited for it. The game is awesome. It runs at a very smooth 60 frames per second. Uh, the graphics are beautiful. The gameplay is awesome. And I remember even playing this, uh, like the beta builds over at PAX Prime uh, before this game even came out. It was very awesome. So here we go. We're going to go with the Subsonic League. Uh, we are going to go on Novice because that's really the only thing that we can do. Then Advanced, then on to Expert. There's uh, four cups within each one of them, with four levels in each cup. So it's going to be quite a long series, so let's jump on in. Alright, so uh, as you guys can see, I beat the Cobalt Cup already in about 11 minutes, which isn't that bad actually. So let's just jump right on into it. We're going to try to see if we can beat our record. And then of course, everything else will be blind from here on out. So, Cobalt Cup, pretty excited. There's uh, three cups, or three um, vehicles that you can choose from the beginning. Uh, the Kamigori, the Bliss, and the Zero. Uh, by beating this and getting the gold uh, trophy on it, you get the Spark, which is pretty good. So, uh, I actually was playing with the Bliss, and the Bliss is really good because it's got a very good top speed. Um, compared to this basic cart, which has a decent acceleration, decent top speed, Zero's got more acceleration, so this one's more for the novices, uh, and Bliss is a little bit more for experts. Uh, and then Spark is right along underneath the Bliss. So we're going to go with the Bliss on this episode because it's an expert card. Why the heck not? Now, in case you guys have missed the live stream, I'll explain exactly how the game works. It's a lot like F-Zero. It's a futuristic racing game. But uh, if you've ever played the game called Ikaruga, um, it's, uh, that's a little arcade game. It's a shooter where you switch your phases. Uh, this is kind of the same thing. You can either be blue or red phase. Now, with those phases, uh, you are going to need to pay attention to the boosts on the ground. If there's a red boost, you got to switch over to your red phase. If there's a blue boost, you switch over to your blue one in order to get it. If you're on the wrong color phase, you slow down. And of course, there's little orbs that you can pick up in order to boost yourself even further. The game's pretty good. Uh, so uh, right now, you also have a boost meter, which I'm kind of on top of. Like, literally, I'm on top of it. You don't even need to see it. We'll be okay. Um, this is going to be really good. So here we go. I'm not really sure if there's a boost at the beginning, because I've only played the final build like once or twice. So I'm just going to pretend like we're playing Mario Kart and just do it right after uh, 2. So anyway, um, as you guys can see, I mean the graphics are pretty sweet. And here's the, the boost panel that I was talking to you guys about. Um, and then this cart, not cart, this vehicle doesn't really have the best turns. So I have to definitely uh, try to improve on that. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to get clipped by the side of that thing. <laughs> I was trying to move, but that obviously didn't work on my part. It'll be like right in my way. So yeah, as you guys can see, you can actually destroy your cart, which is not good. And uh, I've got a full boost meter, so we're gonna use that right on the straightaway once we get one. And you can just keep on spamming the uh, the right bumper button in order to use your boost meter, which is pretty good. And if you have any enemies near you and you boost into them, you'll slow them down, which is pretty sweet. So as you guys can see right over here, we're going to try to boost through this guy. Oh man, come on, here we go, we popped him. See, I'm like dragging behind him though, come on. Okay, so we're fifth place on the first lap, this is not good. We gotta catch up. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get it, don't worry, we'll get him. We've only got two laps to go. Okay. All right, so I see someone crashed out over there, which is good. That means that's good for me. Uh, so we're just going to stay straight right over here. And 
and we're going to continue on. I'll boost up as soon as I can. I'm, I'm in first place now. This is good. We got this. All right, and you want to kind of aim for those orbs whenever you can, just so that you have extra boost. And then kind of try to remember, like, the track layout. Like, I, I can remember that, like, towards the end over here, it goes blue, red, blue, or orange, whatever you want to call the color. And you can kind of remember where these little orbs are, because they'll always regenerate as well. Look at that huge-looking sand room. That was crazy. All right, here we go. Boosting towards the finish line. We got one more lap, so uh, I, won't, I won't celebrate just yet. Oh, the turns, man, the turns! Okay, here we go. Now, luckily, right over here, you just gotta look way ahead and don't get caught by these propeller blades. I think I'm gonna get caught. I think I'm gonna get caught. Oh! oh. Scary, man. Alright, so I'm gonna save up my boost a little bit. And you can see the face changing definitely helps out. Go blue, it's gonna go red, and it's gonna go blue again towards the middle. There we go, we got a little bit of it. Ooh, there we go. And get some little boost in midair, and now we're on a straightaway, so we can just expel all of our boost. Oh gosh, didn't even know about that. Here we go. And I think this is a final turn, correct me if I'm wrong. There we go, yes, we got it, and we expelled all of our boost, and we got a first place victory. Pretty good. Pretty good. The first lap was a little rough. Uh, cause I just got smashed by that propeller, so, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, so it's, uh, just like a GP, uh, depending on where you place, uh, you'll ultimately get a certain amount of points. So some tracks have alternative routes, try them. So we've got to keep our eyes peeled for that, uh, and of course if you guys know of any secret paths in any of these levels, definitely timestamp it, uh, just so that people who are watching, uh, can actually go try them out. Uh, I remember when I was talking to, to the developers and actually playing, during Tax Prime, I, um, I was asking him, like, hey, are there shortcuts? You know, I was kind of giving him some feedback. It was, it was really cool. So he said that there's a lot of shortcuts in the game, so maybe not in this particular cup, but he said later on, it'll be pretty cool. All right, so here we go. Now, this level's pretty cool because you can actually go flying in the air, and of course, uh, you've got to pay attention to what color you are, or else you're not going to get that boost. All right, switching colors. Look at that. That looks awesome. There we go. I just need these boosts, man. I need these boosts. All right, I'm gonna save them. Ooh, ooh. Okay, look at that. Am I just noticing now that the boosts um, are color coordinated too? You get more boosts if you're like the color that it lands on. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest, because they look like they're half and half, like half red and half uh, blue. Or orange, orange, whatever you want to call it. Oh, man, here we go. Blue, switching over. Here we go, flying in the air. All right, here we go. We're going to switch to red. <laughs> I'm going to call it red all day. I'm clearly colorblind. Oh no! Boost! Boost! Okay, I didn't notice that the, um, the icicles are, like, collision. That's cool. Whoa! Oh man, don't lose control. Like, right over here, these turns, man. Not with this vehicle. Oh man, see, I should memorize that pattern towards the end of that side. So that I can learn that there's, like, so many boosts. You can get, like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 little orbs? And I wish there was a back, uh, like a mirror, so you can kind of see where the rest of the people are at compared to you. Or maybe there's a map. I don't know. Like, I want to see how much of a comfort zone we've got right now. But the music is pretty awesome, too. It reminds me of Extreme G. You guys ever play that game for, I don't know if that was GameCube or 64? That was a really cool game, Extreme G. And Extreme G3? Man. Dude, that's that's my that is my high school memory. Extreme G. <laughs> you guys should go play Extreme G. Anyway, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, now it's gonna be on this right side. Oh, come on! Here we go. 
and I don't have any more boots, and I can't look behind me either. So there we go. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so the laps are looking pretty good. See, so as long as you keep on going down in your laps, that, that, that's a good sign. So will we get the perfect 48? I don't know, but we're going to try it. You can boost through smaller obstacles. Okay, probably like the icicles they were talking about. Okay, so uh, here goes, ooh, uh, Mueller Pacific, oh my gosh, look at that whale. Mueller Pacific is pretty cool. There are some stage hazards that will destroy you if you're not paying attention. Look at the birds! Uh, <laughs> I'm like, forget the rest of the graphics, look at those birds, man. Uh, anyway. Man, these turns. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry, I'll be there. Let's see if I can... Oh, man, yuck. What is happening to me? Alright, well, we're getting a lot of boost, which is great. Dude! That's what I was talking about! Dang it! Well, luckily I had a little bit of boost saved up, so I was able to uh, pretty much not lose that much time. So here's a shortcut in this level. Oh, I wasn't able to get it. I'll get it next lap. Watch. And here's where my um, high uh, high speed stat comes into play. Alright, we're gonna pop this here. See, that's real. I really want to just unlock hero mode. I do so bad so that I can like boost into other people and take their shield. Uh, and that's what's really cool is that the the developers of this game really know that a lot of people are looking forward to like the next F Zero game, and then this is something that people want to just satisfy their their need for it. Man, I haven't played F Zero in a long time, but this game is definitely holding true to it. I really wish there was like more attacks though. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go. Oh, I needed to boost. Dang it. Okay, we'll do it on the last lap. I promise. And I'll ju I'll save enough boost for. Him. All right, here we go. We're doing pretty well. Ugh, that's it for that. Whoa, whoa, where did this guy go? Where did this guy come from? All right, all right. I can't let him beat me. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, man, I gotta watch out for that. Okay, I'm almost at full boost. Ooh! I need one right here just to- OH! <laughs> I forgot this part! I'm some third now! Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my goodness gracious! What in the world just happened there? Oh man, I was celebrating way too early. Alright, here we go. This is what you want to do. You want to go right up there, but not there! Oh my goodness, what is going on? I lost it! Dude, that was terrible. This guy. That was the worst. That was literally the worst. Okay, well, if I don't get first place on this one, I'm going to lose, so. Wow, what happened to me? Ah, I forgot about those stupid crates. That's so bad. All right, well, here we go. It's all or nothing. Kind of raising the stakes here. Ooh, get this guy out of here. You know what? I really wish that when you hit someone with a boost, they like literally fly away from you. Fly to the side. And not just like crash in front of you. You know, I'm gonna go this way. There's multiple paths that you can take in this specific level. And I'm gonna stick to the left on this path. Alright, here we go. I need some orbs. Okay, get a little bit of boost. We're gonna use a little bit of it now. All right, here we go. Flying in the air. Oh man, someone burnt out right over there. Yuck. Oh, I don't like this. Whoa. Okay. I like how you can kind of steer a little bit while you're in midair. Okay, good. I just wasted all my boost. I'm in first place. I'm not gonna celebrate too early like I did the last time. 
was like all getting comfortable. Nope, can't do it. All right, I'm gonna try this lap, or this way. I haven't really tried this way before. You can pretty much just get all boosts. Oh, that was kind of cool. I like that. Oh, I'm at a full boost now, just about. All right, here we go. Now this is where we're gonna fly. This is the scary part, right here, because you gotta you gotta fly like through the the city or whatever. Right there. If you're too low, you are gonna get crashed. All right, I'm gonna land on this orange strip. And fly right through, and we're gonna spam all of our boosts. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Now let's just uh, pretty much charge up our boost and repeat. Literally, just let's repeat it. I don't even know where the rest of the um, the characters are at. Um, I'll go this way to get boost. And I'll continue to go this way. Pretty much filling up my entire boost meter right there. I don't know if you guys can see the boost meter right by me, but looks good. Looks good. All right, here we go. Oh my! Like <laughs> that is so crazy looking. Whoa! When you're like flying and the camera's like all weird and you can see my head tilt, even though like I know I won't like see anything different. Oh man, too cool. All right, let's boost away. I gotta line up right by these other boosts. Too cool. Last little boost in the end. Oh, call it a day. Wow, okay, that was close. That was a little too close for comfort. Man, that was awesome, though. Okay, good job with a 29 and a 41. Looking good. I didn't get the perfect 48, but that's okay. I mean, as long as we got first place and we earned a gold trophy, we're gonna be all set. I do like the bliss cart, uh, or vehicle, or I don't even know what you call these things. Hovercraft? Yeah, there we go, and this is the award ceremony. Ha <laughs> ha! Congratulations! You place first in the Cobalt Subsonic League. Okay, looking good. I like that trophy. It reminds me, I'm, I'm kind of getting this Mario Kart vibe <laughs> where I want to go back and play all the Mario Kart games. That was cool. So we've got our very first uh, trophy, which was awesome. Um, I don't know if we beat our... our time before I wasn't really paying attention but uh, on the next episode we're gonna go through the Xenon Cup and of course Xenon we can uh, choose one of four different vehicles um, maybe we'll do the spark maybe we'll go the zero the bliss or the Kamigori you guys can choose and uh, hopefully uh, we can go from there uh, so Xenon Cup on the next episode it's gonna be great and yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, let's play because the game's great I enjoy it so far I mean it's literally a spiritual successor of F-Zero. I'm getting that need for speed kind of feel. So hopefully you guys did too. And I love the 60 frames per second. The graphics are great. Gameplay is pretty solid. So uh, head over to the Nintendo eShop and uh, purchase the game yourself. It's only $13.99 and it, it's, it's a great game so far. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we have uh, the awesome Patreon supporters right on screen over here. Uh, if you guys haven't already, Checked out my Patreon site, feel free to do so. It's patreon.com slash abdallasmash026. You too can get your name scrolling through the credits like these awesome folks. Uh, you guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed the gameplay footage, I would really appreciate it if you clicked on the like button and shared the video, of course, with a friend. And uh, if you guys can subscribe for even more Fast Racing Neo, that would be cool too. So, playlists are all in the description, so be sure to check those out and play the game and, yeah, download the game and play along with me. It'll be great. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.